Hey guys, Saf here with another Dragonair video today and I've got some exciting news about a new event that is starting right now today in game. It is a special collaboration between Dungeons and Dragons and Dragonair and it bring, introduces a brand new hero into the game. Now, if you have not started playing Dragonair Silent Gods, now is the best time to actually get started. We're just coming into the final part of the season, but you have still got plenty of times to be able to get your hands on the game, get in the game, get an account created and really enjoy it. If you start now with one of the newer servers, you'll have an even longer period of time to play the game and you can start with this event and get yourself a chance of getting drizzed. You can download the game by using the link in my description below or you can scan the QR code on screen right now to get started. Dragonair Silent Gods is an open world RPG with many tabletop elements such as dice rolling, D20 dices, D40. There's lots of puzzles around the world, but you also have to collect heroes from various different elements and various different races. And actually you get to build your own hero in this game, which is quite unique for a hero collector. You could place traits on them exactly how you would in tabletop style RPG games. It has had a phenomenal launch with over 10 million downloads in 10 regions since the global launch around about two months ago. And it continues to go from strength to strength with today's new collaboration. Now, if you don't know what Dungeons and Dragons is, it is one of the most popular, longest running, I believe, tabletop games in the world. I know some people personally who have been playing a Dungeons and Dragons game with their friends for over 40 years. It is a very, very popular game. And some of the characters you're gonna see in this event when we talk about it are drawn directly from the Dungeons and Dragons universe. So the characters being introduced, the heroes available in the game are Drizzt Duarden and Urtu. During the collaboration, Drizzt and his Black Panther Gwenvra will have an independent and complete storyline, an expansion of the existing storyline to continue the tales in Dragonair. You'll be able to use your Heliolite dice to take part in the Planeswalker summoning for a chance to get your hands on Drizzt, the new hero. We also have some pretty cool free skins for our D20 and D4 dice in the game, which look really cool as well. As long as you complete the main quest and the activities involved in this collaboration, you can get these free rewards. There will also be a brand new boss fight as we take on the boss Urtu, which can be fought either as a dungeon or as a collaborative sandbox in the world. This is really, really cool to have more bosses and more content for us to fight in Dragonair. So it's been a busy week for Dragonair. We have got the Inferno and Twinkle event, which is the Dungeons and Dragons collaboration with Dragonair coming up. By the time this video is released, it will be out and available. We've also had the new Otherworld Exploration launch. This is the final part of this season. This Otherworld Exploration unlocks a whole new region. There's more dungeons for us to face. We get some more perks. I've only just started exploring it as of two days ago. But let's talk about this new integration that we're going to have here. This is the Infernal and uh, the Inferno and Twinkle event. It's a collaboration with Dungeons and Dragons and Dragonair. It makes sense. Dragonair is, has many RPG tabletop elements like D20 dice rolling, D4 dice rolling. You know, we can build our own hero. As you can see here, you can build your own hero. I've built my own Emo Legolas here. You can assign your own attributes like you would expect to in a typical RPG game. I've gone for Wisdom and Charisma, which has served me well. When I don't need to fight dwarves or fight gnomes, that's when it doesn't serve me well. We can see here as well, you can create your own identities here where you've got different talents and different abilities to do different things. And then of course, we have been uploading our Psychic Core here, which is giving us benefits to our team. So it has many elements of RPG, so it makes absolute sense that they have partnered first as a collaboration with Dungeons and Dragons. So how is this event gonna work? It is a, I think a month long event here. We can see in the news, it's gonna give us, give us a little bit of information in terms of when the event is going to happen. It's going to last for a period of about two weeks where we can take part in a, a multitude of different events. So what have we got here? We've got a demon hunt. So once the collaboration event starts, there will be one challenge unlocked each day. Complete a challenge to obtain the corresponding rewards. So there'll be daily challenges we have to do. So it's important you log in every single day during this collaboration if you really want to maximize your rewards. Completing all the challenges will, will reward you with an exclusive special design Argent Emerald Dice D20. Now, I, I think this is a really cool idea. We all like cosmetic flashy stuff. And I think the game has a lot of dice rolling that we actually interact with. So having a skin that we can earn, which is exclusive, looks like a really cool thing. I'm looking forward to actually seeing that dice. Check out the Demon Hunter page here for more information when it goes live, cool. So this should already be live by the time this video comes out. I'm recording this a few days before. 
Commence adventure. Once the collaboration event starts, you can accept the adventure quest to embark on your own unique adventure with Drizzt. This, I believe, is the storyline, so we can actually get a whole new storyline with Drizzt and his quest to defeat Urtu. We also have the Planeswalker summoning. So this will be a summoning event. I have been saving all of my Heliolite dice and all of my Weir Marrow. I've been saving everything in preparation for this event. Once the collaboration event starts, you can consume Heliolite dice to participate in the Planeswalker summoning for a chance to summon the event's exclusive hero, Drizzt Duarden. I probably have butchered that, the Twin Blade Ranger. Now, I myself am not a massive experienced um, sort of reader of the Dungeons and Dragons lore, but I believe this character is from Neverwinter. So um, if you are a big Dungeons and Dragons, leave a comment below and give me some backstory about Drizzt. I'd love to know more about this character that is apparently extremely popular from all the feedback I've seen so far. People are very excited about this character coming into the game. So I'd love to know more about Drizzt. Leave it in the comments below. Legendary heroes in the plane summon, Planeswalker summoning include only the collaboration hero. And you also have an opportunity to summon the hero's token, Hunter's Blade. So it looks like it's going to be focused exclusively on Drizzt. That might mean it's a very good opportunity for you to get him if you have enough of this Heliolite dice. We don't know how many that will need to be at the moment, um, but hopefully it's a pretty good chance to get it. Once you collect a certain number of Hunter Blades, you can use them to directly summon the collaboration hero. So some sort of mercy system. Dragonair has a pretty good mercy system. I feel like you, you get pretty good odds. You kind of know how much you need to get what you need to come out with. So that's pretty cool. You can use the Hunter's Blades to raise the inspiration level of the collaboration hero. So that's the dupe system. And the Hunter's Blade will be converted to essence after the event, which is the seasonal essence that you will use at the end of the season. You can redeem items you need with Hunter's Blades obtained during the collaborations event in the token shop. The token shop will, will be closed. Please redeem the event after. So it looks really cool. We're going to get this, um, uh, this new character. He does look to be Frost by the looks of it. We've sort of seen most of the backdrop here all looks to be Frost. And it will last for a period of about two weeks. Now, so far, my Frost roster is looking decent. We've got, uh, I've managed to pull Hocker Deer, which is great. I've got an Usha. So he might fit nicely alongside some of my uh, my ice team here. We've also got, uh, I've also got Rava. I would really love a, a tank of some sort. That's that's kind of like what I'm missing out of my Necrosis and uh, ice teams is some sort of tank to really carry the team. But maybe he will be able to tank. Maybe he will do lots of damage. We'll have to see how he comes in. As a hunter, I'd imagine he's going to be more damage dealer. So he looks like I could definitely fit him into my roster. Um, depending on what his abilities do. We'll all find out probably by the time this video goes out. We'll all be looking at it and all be getting excited about it. I'm very close to finishing the storyline on my count. So that's kind of like what I'm focusing on before the event starts so I can keep expanding into this other world exploration. But there you go, guys. The Inferno and Twinkle event starting on the 17th of November. This should be today by the time this video goes out. Let me know in the comments below if you are playing Dragonair what you think about this event. So if that sounds interesting, you want to get yourself into this world, you can download Dragonair now on a various multitude of platforms. It is available on Mac. It is available on Epic Store. It's available on Windows. It is available on Steam. You can get it on Android and iOS and all of your account progress is matched across all of those devices. So you can play on any device, anywhere, at any time. You can use the link in my description below right now to get started. And I'll see you in the world of Dragonair.